Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this one we will be talking about how to get send grid API key so without any further uh, delay let's just hop on to our tutorial so we have uh, different types of API keys we have full access restricted and billing access so you can see we have different features offered by different API keys now we are not going to be talking about types of API keys instead we are going to be learning that how you can actually get one so now to create an api key obviously now to get an api key you have to first create it so on sendgrid you are going to be simply navigating to settings on the left uh, navigation bar and then select api keys then click on create api key option once you do that, you're going to be selecting full access, restricted or billing access. If you are not sure about which one to select, you can just go through each of them and see which are, which is going to be working best for you. So basically, full access allows the API key to access, get, patch, put, delete or post endpoints for all parts of your account, including billing and email address validation. Restricted one customizes levels of access for all parts of your account excluding billing and email address validation and billing access allows the api key to access billing endpoints for the account you all right so once you select a key if you select it let, uh, let like for example restricted access you're going to be or billing access select the specific permissions to give each category for more information you can simply uh, refer to this particular article so I'm going to be showing you that as well uh, in here you can go through all these details if you want to just know more in depth about that so now we are going to be clicking on once you are completed for the step 5 we are going to be clicking on create and view then copy your API key somewhere safe for security reason do not put it directly into your code or commit it's somewhere public like github so as it is going to be a big problem for you so that's a pretty simple process on how you can get the api key for send grid and i really hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did so make sure to subscribe like and share with your friends thank you so much for watching and see you around the next couple of tutorials